Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. And sorry that we haven't really been posting too many videos. Um, it's been finals week, so it's been like kind of like busy. We've been kind of busy, so we're gonna try once um, school's out to post more videos more frequently and have like set dates. We're gonna try, but then it's summer, so you know we're gonna be busy with work and you know with friends and stuff like that. And um. We've reached 100 subscribers, so that's good. Hopefully we keep reaching more. And well, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless pow uh, Press Powder. Looks like that. And I just like being more matte looking. And I heard one YouTuber talk about this, I'm just not I can't remember. And I actually really like it. It makes me really matte. And yeah, for a drugstore, it's pretty good. And I got mine at Target. And everything that I'm going to be listing, I'll have linked down below. And another favorite that I have is I actually picked this up yesterday at Target. And I've heard a lot of people talking about this Sonia Kashuk brushes and that they're really good. So I wanted to try one out. And this is the, I don't know the name of it. I'll have it linked down below. But it's the contouring brush. And it looks like that. And it's really soft and it actually works pretty good. I have the Kat Von D one and the like shade and light brush. And I like the highlighter, but the contour one is just just okay. It doesn't really work on me. But then again, my Anastasia contour kit is like broken. There's something wrong with it. I don't really know. I think I got a bad one. So maybe it's just the contouring. Uh, my next favorite is the Warrock Pro Palette. And this is the second one haul and it's really good I'm so happy that I'm so happy that Emily told me to pick this up because I was between this and the Too Faced uh, sugar pop palette but I love this it's so pretty and I'll have my clothing haul down below my next favorite is I also picked this up yesterday and it's the number seven beautifully matte makeup base again I like being Matt, so I got to set Target. I heard Casey Holmes talk about it, so I picked it up and I actually really like it. I used it today. I don't know, Target says good, and I really like this one. Yeah. My next two favorites are two lipsticks, and um, anyone who knows me knows I'm a lipstick junkie, so of course I have to have a lipstick favorite. And this is the color that I'm wearing now. And it's the Frank's look. It's the lust for blush. This scares me. <laughs> this scares. It's okay. You can see. Okay. This scares Emily a lot when people do this. She thinks it's gonna break. But yeah, it's so pretty. It looks like I that. Just swapped it. And that's what it looks like. Again, it's on my lips right now. It's wicked pretty. It's the Maybelline Matte Collection, and they have it at all drugstores. I got mine at Target because they're like a couple bucks there and then my next one is Stilla and it's patina and Amanda Ensign talks about this one and my friend Kristen told me to get it because she was wearing it one time and it looks so pretty and it literally lasts on um, my lips all day like I can eat and drink and it's not going anywhere that's what it looks like right there it's really pretty good everyday lipstick color my next beauty favorite is, is, um, so my next beauty favorite is this Sleek Makeup Palette, eyeshadow palette, and I heard Shawnee talk about this, um, in her, one of her YouTube videos, and I'm pretty sure it's an Australian brand, but I loved the color so much that I went on Amazon and they had it, so I just got it from there. I don't know if they shipped to the United States, but... If not, just look it up on Amazon. It's called Sleek Makeup, and it's the Eye Divine Palette Snapshot 732. And it's so pretty. It's really pretty for spring. Just have a bunch of colors. Okay. Let's see. I have a lot of beauty favorites, but my next beauty favorites are these two um, NYX mascaras, and they're like colorful. They're really cool. Emily and I went to Ulta one day a couple weeks ago. So 
so and um, we just got them to try them out and they're actually really um, cool. We saw Casey Holmes talk about them, so of course we went and got them because we love Casey. And to just put them on the bottom um, lashes, it looks really pretty. You have to do a couple layers of it because it doesn't come out as dark, but I got the pink. And then I also got the blue, because I got, uh, or green, got the green, but it's pretty, and yeah, they're not something that I'd wear every day, but it's fun to, like, put on, play with, and we got that at Ulta. So now moving on to skincare and um, hair products that I've been loving. We'll start off with this. So I got these things at Target and I got the Neutrogena Eye Cream. And I also got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. Like that. And I've been using the eye cream for a couple weeks now and I love it like it I can already tell like my wrinkles and stuff on my eyes have already like gotten better and it's just really good I use it in the morning and at night and then I got this yesterday and I used it last night and it made my skin so smooth and like it was just crazy how smooth it uh, made my skin so yeah, definitely been loving this it's really cool too. It's like a gel. Oh, it's I like it a lot. It's a little expensive for like a drugstore, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so the next thing that I got is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Lightly Whipped Body Butter Cream. And it's uh, pistachio, almond, and sweet vanilla fragrance. And um, Briggs and I went to the VIB sale. And I didn't really need anything. I have plenty of makeup, but we were just walking around, just like looking, playing with makeup. And I saw that they were having this 40% off sale. And I've smelled this before, but um, I saw this before and I've always wanted it, but just didn't really want to pay the price just because I have so many lotions. But it was 40% off, and then I got 50% off for being a VIB, and it smells so good. It's amazing. And yeah, it was worth it. I only paid like 12 bucks for it, so it's pretty good size. 10 ounces, so yeah. And then the next thing that I got, the next thing that I got for um, skincare is the Lorac Self Tanner. And I, I saw Casey Holmes again talking about this, and it works really good. I actually really like it. It was a little expensive. I got it at Ulta, but it was worth it. And yeah, it's like a good start to summer coming up. So hopefully I have like a base tan. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. And I got the... Wait, did they have like different shades? I think it was like 40 bucks, but worth it to me. The next um, skincare, I guess, that I got is the Pink Sugar Perfume. And I talked about this in our makeup haul. And I like that envelope. I'm gonna it. But it smells so good. It looks like that. And I got this at Sephora, and it was only like 30 bucks, but it stays on all day. Like, I sprayed it this morning and it's still on me, so it smells really good. I have two hair products to show you and I've been loving these. Um, the first one is the anti-breakage serum. Looks like that. And I like really need to get a haircut because my ends were really bad, but actually putting this after I get a shower at the end of my hair, it's, it's, it has helped. It's but it has helped like a lot of my hair looking dead. I still need to get a cut, but yeah. So I've been using after I get out of the shower. And then I got the coconut oil hair mask repair and prevent damage. It's the same brand as the um, thing I showed you, the Ollie 
natural beauty oils. But yeah, I use this in the shower. It's like a hair mask and it just works really good. It makes my hair soft and shiny and it actually also helps the um, dead ends of my hair look a little bit better. Okay, so now on to clothing favorites. I don't have too many just because um, it's it's still kind of cold here. We've only had like a week of nice weather, so yeah. I've been pretty much just in a sweatshirt. But the first thing I want to show you, I haven't worn them yet, but I'm excited to, so I'm going to put them in my favorites, are these gladiator sandals that I got from Marshalls. Oops, I'll take that out. They're only 20 bucks, and I just love them so much. I can't wait to wear them in the summer. This kimono from Charlotte Russe. I've been loving kimono. Kimonos. I've been loving kimonos, especially in the springtime. I think it's really pretty, and this one's like kind of long. And I'm pretty sure I only got this for like ten dollars. They were having like a sale. They always have sales there. My next favorite. I actually got this uh, weekend with Briggs, and we went to the mall. And I saw this, and I usually would not wear anything like this, but I am going out to California soon, and I thought it would be cute to like put over my bathing suit. But it's this mint green, which is my favorite color, and it says West Coast on it. And I just thought it was so cute. I'm excited to wear it. And then my last favorite is, it's actually kind of random, but it's this bathrobe, and it's so comfy. It says Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, London 2014. Love it. I always wear it when I get out of the shower. <laughs> My random favorites. So the first thing that I've been loving is um, this sleep lavender chamomile, chamomile. chamomile. Um, pillow mist. And it smells so good. And I just sprayed this on my pillow. Briggs also has this too. It together. And Briggs is Emily, by the way. I keep saying that. But anyways. Um, but it smells really good. You just spray it before bed. I don't think it makes me tired. I think it's kind of in your head. But it smells really good. I just like spraying it before I go to bed. And then another random favorite is the this candle that I got. It's the Praline Pecan Cobbler. And I got it from Bath & Body Works. I got this weekend too but it smells so good it literally smells like the pumpkin caramel waffles from Bath and Body Works that they have in the fall but the lady said they just switched the pumpkin to caramel but it literally smells the same and now on to um, still random favorites but TV shows that I've been watching this uh, this month are uh, Dance Moms um, 19 Kids and Counting because Briggs. <laughs> but um, Seven Little Johnsons, we love them. But it's on kind of late, so it's kind of hard to watch it. Um, what else? Keeping up with the Kardashians, obviously. Teen Mom. Uh, OG. OG's baby. What else? I think that's it. I haven't really been watching like anything on Netflix just because it's been kind of busy with school work and stuff. And so I haven't been reading any books, but I do want to start reading more this summer because I do like reading, but it's just busy up here at school. Oh, my sound favorites. Okay. I don't know what to do. Oh. Um, this is Trap Queen. I don't know who sings it. Fetty Rap. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Okay. So, yeah, that's Trap Queen. I'm sure, like, everyone knows that song because it's always on the radio. But it's good. It's catchy. Okay, my next favorite um, song is Stitches by Sean Mendez. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, it's really cute. I don't really know the words, but I'll play it. Okay. 
You've heard this song before. It's on the radio now. Oh. My sister likes this song, Hallie. It's like a little boy or something. Okay. And my next favorite, I had a favorite. Okay. And my last favorite song is um, Research by Ariana Grande and Big Sean. Casey likes this song too. So I like but yeah so that concludes my april favorites of the month and yeah so make sure you like this video comment and subscribe to our channel and yeah make sure you Oh, make sure you thumbs up this video too. And yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you in our next video. Bye. Peace out. Okay. Make thumbs sure you. Up. Oh, make sure you thumbs up this video too. And yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you in our next video. Bye. Peace out. All right, now I got to.